Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Believe it or not, for the past 8 months I have not touched OSU standard. Now I know what you're thinking, Spaza you probably have a wife by now, 4 children, you own 3 companies, you finally escaped Rhythm Game Hell. Congratulations. Let's talk about Taiko no Tatsujin. <laughs> Taiko no Tatsujin is an arcade drum rhythm game where you hit red notes, dons and blue notes, kaz, in time with music. It's widely popular in Japan since that's where the game originated from, but it's been ported to a ton of different consoles and there's no shortage of Taiko simulators on PC. One of the most popular emulators, though it's fundamentally different game, is of course Osu Taiko, where you play using a keyboard. I've been having a great time with Osu Taiko, I love the game, I love its smaller laid-back community. However, as I became more and more obsessed with the game, I started researching its history and my desire to play the original Taiko no Tatsujin reached an all-time high. There's unfortunately no arcades nearby, very few in Italy in general, but as I said, the game is widely available, so I bought the Nintendo Switch version, and in order to play it the way God intended, I needed to get my hands on a drum controller. There's basically three alternatives. The official Nintendo Switch Hori Drum, small and relatively cheap. Knockoff drums, cheap, various sizes, but pretty much RNG when it comes to performance. And finally, the Taiko Force Level 5, a much larger, high-quality arcade-sized drum controller offering much more reliable performance. I personally tested the Taiko Force myself at COE 2022, but what if I told you there's a new kid in town, a new drum that's the same size as the Taiko Force but offers more features and claims to be the closest thing to the arcade experience? Introducing the Zong Taiko. Zong Taiko is a console-inspired Taiko home controller built by a small, passionate group of Taiko no Tatsujin players. They were kind enough to send one of their drums my way for review, so today we're gonna unbox it, test it and compare it to its main competitors. Let's get into it. And there it is, there's the box, right there. Ok, I gotta use full frame cause the box is massive. Inside the box you'll find the drum itself, two standing planks, e-box with a USB cable, screws with a screwdriver and an extra set of drum sensors. Very nice of them to include those free of charge. You'll also find an EVA foam pad to rest your drum on, anti-slip mats and I also bought some bachi off their website, which are essentially the drumsticks. The Zong Taiko feels very high quality with its very thick rubber pad on the front while on the back we have 4 metal stands to mount the standing planks. The upper part is signaled so you don't mount it backwards, cable comes out on top and connects to the e-box. The mounting process is pretty straightforward, you first have to align the hole making sure to do it on both sides, put the washer in the screw, screw it in and bolt it down with another washer until it's nice and tight. Do this for both sides and you finally have a drum that can stand on its own. Literally. I recommend using the foam pad for extra security, so you can drum away and have fun with no hassle. The drum cable connects to the e-box and the provided USB cable allows you to use the Zong Taiko on every console you can think of. Your computer, Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, Wii, Wii U, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Sony PlayStation TV, which I didn't even know existed, and iOS. I don't know why you do that, but with the Zong Taiko, you can. When you buy the drum you also receive a PDF guide explaining how to set the e-box for different consoles. It's pretty easy and I had no issues connecting my drum to both my computer as well as my Nintendo Switch. Before I go ham on this thing I want to bestow some wisdom upon you. Whatever it is that you're doing, I strongly believe in the notion of building your way up, especially when it comes to technology. If you start using the best of the best immediately, you're probably not going to fully appreciate just how great whatever you're using is, cause you lack the experience and perspective that only a much worse device can give you. It's like buying a Ferrari as your first car, or a Wooting as a 6 digit. So I bought the official Hori Switch drum, played with it for more than a month, and came to the conclusion that… it sucks. Both the drum and bachi are made of what feels like really cheap plastic. Your hits get completely absorbed by the drum with barely any bounce, resulting in much more straining gameplay and practically impossible rolling. On top of that, you need to hit the drum super hard cause inputs sometimes won't register, 
they still don't, and the playing area is so small, making the drums so loud. There are ways to mod it of course by disassembling etc, but I wanted to do it raw, as you should. No, the use protection, oh god. In the end, I'm glad I put myself through this torture though, cause when I started playing on the Zong Taiko, I felt like I was on steroids. All of a sudden I was dealing with super high quality materials, major bounce with zero dropped inputs, much larger playing area, and honestly, as crazy as it may sound, it ends up being somewhat quieter than the switch drum. It's a different type of sound signature entirely, it's a lot deeper, but I find it to be a lot more bearable and satisfying. So to absolutely no one's surprise, the Zong Taiko kills the Hori drum. But how does it compare to its direct competitor, the Taiko Force Level 5? I unfortunately don't own one of these, so I can't make a direct comparison, and as you may have noticed from my gameplay, I'm not exactly the greatest Taiko no Tatsujin player. Not yet, at the very least. Believe in me. However, I got in touch with two of the best Osu Taiko players in my country, who came all the way to my place in order to test the drum. Ikkun, who's been playing Taiko for more than 10 years, picking top 40 worldwide, has arcade experience and owns and actively uses a Taiko Force, and Deku, who's also picked top 40, played arcade before, and owned a Taiko Force for some time. As I show some of their gameplay in the background, I'll go over what they thought of the Zong Taiko compared to the Taiko Force, and what the main differences are. According to them, in terms of general use, the Zong Taiko feels a bit better and more bouncy, especially in the Don region. The cars are a bit more stiff and feel the exact same between the two, with no real downside during gameplay. The reason Zong Taiko is bouncier than the Taiko Force is because of its structure. The Taiko Force, while still being super high quality, has a wooden layer with wooden plates, whereas the Zong Taiko has a wooden layer first and then iron plates, producing more bounce and a slightly deeper sound signature. As you can see in these pictures, the Zong Taiko and the original arcade drum look pretty much identical. I also asked whether or not the Zong Taiko feels closer to the arcade experience compared to the Taiko Force, and while they did agree the Zong Taiko generally felt better, it was hard to give a definitive answer cause arcade drums are usually pretty run down and worn out. And I can personally testify to that cause when I played on a cabinet, the drum looked like this. So yeah, it's pretty bad. The main difference, however, is not so much in the drum itself, but the e-box. Just like the wooting keyboard allows you to change the actuation point of the switches, the Zong Taiko allows you to customize the sensitivity of your dos and cas, which is absolutely massive. When you first connect the Zong Taiko to your computer and run their program, you will be met with this. Now, I understand this looks a bit intimidating, but let's go through it. First of all, let's switch to English, thank you very much. Each sensor has a number assigned to it, you can increase it for more sensitivity and decrease it for less, while minimum threshold changes the sensitivity of the entire drum, and its recommended value is between 10 and 15. You can click on test mode in the bottom right corner to check what the sensitivity looks like in practice, so you can adjust it to your liking. Arcade gives you different keybinds for the e-box which you can check in the instruction manual, but you can also click on box key map to customize each keybind for every console including PC. Double mode lets you hit big notes with no delay, PC key map lets you assign a key for your dons and cars so you can play on PC, and input and cool duration for all consoles are automatically set to the best settings, so you don't need to touch those. Same for pin map. Finally, you can press on save data to store everything inside the e-box so all your settings automatically migrate on every console. Wow, that is a lot of customization. And that's really the main difference between the two drums. I'd argue this actually makes the Zong Taiko far more versatile, even more than the arcade drum itself, since you can fine tune it to your own liking, and change its settings according to your playstyle. To give you a practical example, all Bachi come in different weights, shapes and sizes that can fit different players and needs. On the Taiko Force, you'd have to spend some time recalibrating your gameplay, perhaps going a bit softer or harder depending on the budget you chose, but on the Zong Taiko you just change the sensitivity and you're good to go. 
Now you may be wondering, where did I get all this high quality custom bachi? Well, it's thanks to today's sponsor, Buy. Buy is a Japanese proxy website that allows you to buy all sorts of items from Japan that normally wouldn't ship overseas. The way it works is pretty simple. You buy something, it gets sent to their warehouse, they pack it nice and tight and ship it to your home. Buy is compatible with a ton of different online stores such as Yahoo Japan Auction, Mercari, Rakuten and the list goes on and on. I got my bachi from a store on Mercari named The Bachi Boutique, that's some premium stuff, and used Buy's package consolidation service to group all of them in a single package, saving money on shipping. If you sign up to buy using my link that's in the description, you get 10% of your first order on any of the available stores. That's a great offer right there. So sign up to buy today. Thank you very much. Now it's time to discuss the cons of this drum. If we really nitpick, the drum does have the tendency to shake a bit, though it's practically unnoticeable during gameplay, and it probably also depends on the quality of your desk. Not great in my case. Another thing is, since the sound signature is deeper, it has a tendency to go through walls a bit easier, but again, I'm really nitpicking because it's a goddamn drum, I don't think anybody expects it to be quiet. As for the price, it's 550 USD plus shipping for the Zong Taiko, with everything included in the box, and 548 USD plus shipping for the Taiko Force, if you select their best e-box, which by the way, still doesn't include as many consoles as the Zong Taiko. To me, the choice is clear. As good as the Taiko Force is, because it really is a great controller, for the same price point, there's really no reason not to go for the Zong Taiko instead. Or is there? You see, the Taiko Force has been around for a very long time, it's an in-stock item in many stores, so you can simply add it to your cart, pay the money and have it shipped to you. On the other hand, the Zong Taiko is a handmade product built by order. When you go on their website, there's no cart or anything like that, you have to add the actual drum creator on Discord and talk to him directly. Which to me is honestly a huge plus, cause by having a one-to-one -one conversation you really feel the level of love and passion that goes into each and every single drum. However, obviously some people could be opposed to that, so it's a possible con, and more importantly, again, since it's not an in-stock item, if 10 people order a Zong Taiko today, the 10th person will probably have to wait a bit longer to receive it. As silly as it may sound, I actually quite like this sense of exclusivity, but it's undoubtedly more inconvenient for most. As I was working on this review, and I took a very long time, I'm sorry Zong Taiko team, a new drum controller actually came out from Gamo called the Taikoler. There's not much info about it, I believe Tokaku will eventually make a review, so look out for that. It's a bit cheaper and supposedly sports similar customization features as the Zong Taiko, but I have no way of testing it at the moment and it's out of stock anyway, so maybe I'll reach out to try and get a review unit so I can make a full comparison between the two. Until then, I strongly recommend the Zong Taiko, and I want to thank them again for making this video possible, along with Bai for the sponsorship. I also want to thank you guys for watching this video, if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like, it really helps, way more than you may think. Leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and if you'd like to see more content just like this, feel free to subscribe. To all Europeans and rich Americans watching this, I will see you soon at COE 2023. For everybody else, I'll see you all in my next video. Have a good one guys. By the way, if you're wondering why I haven't played Osu Taiko in this video, it's because it's not very fun. Taiko bitmaps are meant for keyboard, they suck on drum. Or maybe I suck. This guy can do it, but again, he's from Japan, so does it really count? I'll go. Bye. .jp